Okay, this video is going to be about our course notes. You can find some general information about the course notes here in the syllabus found on my webpage. So let's just scroll down to assignments. There's a subsection down here in assignments named course notes, the topic of this video. So in this class, our course notes, capital letters, is going to replace the idea of homework assignments. We're going to create course notes in a style that I dictate using our markdown. If you haven't yet seen our markdown, please go find the video on it so you have a better understanding of what that is. This video will assume you have R and RStudio installed and a general understanding of our markdown. So the idea is I'm going to help you create a formal set of notes. Of course, you're allowed to take your own notes while watching the YouTube videos and or lectures of this class, and you can take your own notes however you want, but I'm going to help you create a formal set of notes used as a reference for all your future work in statistics, and I'm going to refer to this formal set of notes as capital letters, course notes. The official due date for your course notes is at the end of our scheduled final, but um, you can join me in office hours to get uh, feedback or comments on your course notes throughout the semester. The notes should be emailed to me in, I prefer, an HTML format, though if you figure out how to make PDF work for you, that is also acceptable. Um, and I'd like you for you to submit both the source file, which is an R Markdown file, and the HTML file in your email. There's only ever going to be one file of all your course notes, so all of our course notes are going to fit into this one file. And I will, as, you this, as the semester progresses, show you how to format that file so it's not just a big jumbled mess. So you're going to simply just continue to add notes into this one file throughout the semester. And I would like you to name the file as your last name and then an underscore and then literally course notes. So my course notes file will have the name Raldi's underscore course notes and then the output file is going to be .html. But I'll show you as a little bit more a detailed example of this as we go. So if you want feedback on your course notes please join me in Zoom in office hours and ask for it. Uh, you can use my feedback to redo portions of your course notes for an improved grade. So if you ask me for feedback, you can go back and fix things. So as to try to bring up, look at this, the biggest portion of your final grade. Uh, your course notes depends on how closely you adhere to the format described in, literally, this YouTube video. So here we go. We are going to... Go open our studio. Let's see R, so here it is. And remember, we want our studio, not R. We will always open our studio. Here is our studio. Taking its time, but that's fine. So we're going to create a new file. So go here to the drop down menu next to new file choose R Markdown. We're going to create a new R Markdown file. You're going to name it Course Notes. And you will change you. You'll put your name here as the author first and last, please. And then pick HTML, or if you want to go figure out how to install uh, LaTeX on your machine, click PDF. Um, it gives you hints here, like you could Google MicTech if you're on Windows and you could install MicTech or MacTech if you're on uh, Mac. Um, but I'm going to generally recommend you just pick HTML. It'll be easiest for you throughout the semester. Click OK and then just immediately go File Save As and save it to your Math 350 folder, which I'm just going to go find my Math 350 folder. And I want these file, this file to be named as your last name, underscore, course notes. No spaces, uh, nothing fancy. All lowercase. Keep it easy. Save that file, and then just immediately hit knit after that. 
So, as you recall from the video on our Markdown documents, here's some metadata that gets populated up here. Here, you can ignore this code chunk for now. I'll tell you what it does later if you need to know. And everything else is like some fancy markup that gets you very specific output in the compiled HTML document. So this is just the example to get you started that our studio gives you. But we are going to delete it and start our course notes ourselves. So following two hashtags, maybe we'll put week 01. You don't have to organize by weeks as the semester goes on, but you have to order, organize your course notes by something that makes sense. So what you're going to do as the general format for your course notes is define words mathematics. Let's say we're going to provide a definition for the word mathematics. The science behind numbers and rates. I, I don't know. That's a really terrible definition of mathematics. Very big, right? I'll just look one up quick. Mathematics. Abstract science behind number, quantity, and space. Oh, I forgot space. There we go. So what I want you to do as the semester goes on is I want you to make bold, I'll show you how this makes bold, uh, specific keywords in this class, and then I want you to provide definitions after those keywords. So you're literally defining the keyword. Let's just save it and hit knit so we can see how that updates in our course notes file. So week one has the keyword mathematics, and maybe it has some other keywords in it. So maybe you're just going to continue to define new keywords. Now this is obviously just a made-up example, and you don't need a definition of mathematics in here. But this is the format through which you will create your course notes. And there's going to come a time where you're going to need to insert some math. So maybe you're like expected value. And now this example is a little bit closer to the truth. Maybe you want to have a definition like this. This is an informal example, but it's closer to the, what you will actually define later on. So after a definition, if you need to use math, you'll write it in LaTeX. After another definition, let's say, then maybe for this particular definition, you need to use R code. So you'll come up here, and you'll insert an R code chunk. And maybe you're going to be like, I'm going to generate some random data. Let's say 1,001 observations. Now watch this. I'm going to hit um, on a Mac. It's Command Enter. On a Windows machine, it'll be Control Enter. I'm going to hit that, and then look, it just sent that code down here into the console. So now I can type out x, and you can see that I just created a variable named x with all this fake data. I can use that data to estimate a mean. And you see I got 0.509. So this is an example of a sample mean. This doesn't have to mean anything to you right now. But I'm showing you that as the semester goes on, what I want you to do is make bold the keywords that we're defining in our lectures. I want you to provide a definition for them. Sometimes that definition is going to be the exact words I want you to use. And sometimes the exact words I want you to use aren't going to make a lot of sense. So you know what you should do is then provide your own definition. And then there's going to be more keywords. So I just want you to create a list going down where you make bold the words you're going to find, you provide the definition that 
I write and the words according to the, the philosophy of statistics. Maybe you provide your own definition after that. Maybe your definition necessitates math symbols. Maybe your definitions are best exemplified with R code. This is what I want you to do as the semester goes on. Write your definitions. Write them in my words and then in your words. If they need math, use real math symbols. If they need R code, you are literally going to embed oops, R code into the HTML document that will be your final product of course notes. So I hope this gave you a good idea of the format I want for your course notes to take on throughout the semester. If you're already starting to see that this file, the input our markdown file, and the output file are going to get cluttered with definition after definition after definition, you are super smart and you're right on track, and I'm going to show you as time goes on how to organize your course notes so it's not as messy as you might be thinking it is right now. But this format should stay the same as the semester goes on. Make bold the key words you're going to define, define them using my words, then define them using your words. If you need to use math, you will need to use math, use math. If you need to use code, use code. That's the benefit of creating these R markdown.